so what is up guys SDPZ here and today we are back with Lampard's Lounge we are back this week with the Champions League so a nice little midweek game and we managed to get ourselves a 1-0 away win at Ajax absolutely amazing result I really didn't predict that if you remember back to my Champions League predictions I did think we'd lose the away game to Ajax so an absolutely fantastic result and really really needed as well as Lille drawing with Valencia has been really good for us so we're now in a really good position in the group so let's get into the teams so here you go, Ajax went with the 4-2-3-1 and obviously everybody loves Ajax, they have a fantastic team. Uh, obviously even with losing De Ligt and De Long, uh, De Long? De Jong in the transfer window, De Ligt and De Long, um, they still have a fantastic team. Still got Tadic, still got Van der Beek, still got Ziyech, uh, still got Tagliafico, still have Onana in goal uh, and obviously have... Uh, signed Quincy Promes as well, so they've made some. Their team's still fantastic. Don't get me wrong; they played brilliant football. Four two three one. I thought they were really unlucky not to score at times. They did hit the post twice, I think, and I think Pro and obviously Promes did have a, a goal disallowed for offside. So they were unlucky, maybe not to score. Um, and I think they'll easily be the other team that qualify from the group. So actually, they still have a really good team, even with losing their two best players. On the other hand, for Chelsea, I didn't really like this lineup. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. The defence I was happy with. Um, the midfield three I was happy with. It was my, it, it was Willie and I wasn't happy with. Now, I know he scored the winning goal um, in the last uh, game against Lille. But for me, it seems so simple that Pulisic should play that game. Um, and from the way that he came on and got the assist for Batshuayi's eventual winning goal... Um, and how fantastic he was. He, him and Batshuayi completely changed the game, especially Pulisic. He just made, he was a different player on the pitch. Um, and Ajax could not deal with him. He completely changed the game for us. Which just like, why didn't he start? Like, why does Willian start every week? And why does Willian get his bum licked by everyone? He's shit. Like, he is. He's either has a really amazing game or he's absolutely dreadful. He never has an average game. And, he was absolutely dreadful, in my opinion. Probably the worst player on the pitch. Um, so I was glad he came off. Uh, and obviously, Batshuayi, it was lovely to see him coming on and getting goal. Hudson Odoi, I thought, was brilliant again. Um, Mount was fantastic. But yeah, all round, very good performance. Just wasn't really happy with the Willian over Pulisic thing. But that's my opinion. I know a lot of other Chelsea fans have that opinion. But, I mean, we won. So, can we complain? So as you can see here, we've got the positives and the negatives. Positives obviously being a massive one, being a clean sheet, something that we obviously have struggled with since Lampard took over. But fantastic, a clean sheet away at Ajax. That's a, that is amazing. I didn't expect to get that in any way. I actually expected us to lose this game. Um, so I was more than more than happy with that. Um, and then that's just fantastic to get a clean sheet. It just feels good for the team. Bit boost morale in defence, especially with a young defence, gives them more confidence. Um, once again, Jorginho, just like um, at the weekend, he ran the show. He was absolutely brilliant. And lucky he is every week. He really deserves so much more credit than he gets. Anyone who doesn't like him, you've got a, you've seriously got an issue because he was fantastic. He ran the game. Man of the match for me, easily. Uh, in terms of the work rate one, um, it could be changed to just keep like kept going. Like we didn't we we dug in really. Um, we kept going until the last minute to get that goal and obviously eventually get it in the, I think, the 86th minute or 84th, one of the two. But it, it was nice to see a Chelsea team that didn't give up. They just kept going and kept going and kept going and kept on plugging away until they got through. It was really, really good to see that we just didn't give up and settle for a draw because a draw would not have been a great result, really. Um, so it was really good to see that we actually dug in and we want. it was like we wanted to win the game which made a really nice change because it hasn't felt like that necessarily recently uh, in recent years sorry that we've, that we've been committed to winning the game they've been more okay with getting a draw which is, is not what I like and I like that Lampard's brought that in and obviously now with us having won six games on the bounce that's fantastic that's absolutely unreal considering obviously in our first game to Man United we lost 4-0 um and we now won six games on the bounce. We've got clean sheets coming in. We're getting goals. We've got it's good. I love to see it, man. It's so it makes me so excited to be a Chelsea fan. It's such a great time to be a Chelsea fan at the moment. And obviously, the biggest positive for me was the substitutions. Obviously, Reese James only coming on for a two minutes or whatever, or four minutes of added time. Uh, but it's nice to him get some Champions League minutes. 
Um, and obviously, it was to shore up the defence, which I liked. And obviously, Pulisic and Batshuayi coming on, I had no complaints with at all. Pulisic should have started the game and coming on for Willian, it, it, he shouldn't have even been coming on. But when he came on, he completely changed the game. He changed the, con- the, the way the game was working, how it all ran. He was the the best player on the pitch after he came on he was absolutely brilliant he made runs straight through the Ajax defence he was running at them taking them on um, and they couldn't deal with him they literally could not deal with what he was doing it was fantastic to see and obviously he got a great assist to Batshuayi like he did uh, against Southampton to get the goal and obviously when Batshuayi came on as well different player to Abraham um, Abraham more holds the ball up whereas Batshuayi wants to turn and shoot immediately which was nice it was just a nice change to have someone else on the pitch um Obviously, it hadn't, it, Tammy was playing brilliant, but it didn't really. It wasn't really coming for him. He wasn't getting the chance. Um, and obviously, I know Batshuayi did miss a bit of a sitter, uh, but he also then managed to score a fantastic goal. Uh, and did he did think he'd missed, but he scored, and that's what mattered. To me, it, it was brilliant, and especially at the end, what I liked is is it was a, a Chelsea team that felt confident with the ball. Um, obviously, we've gone into stoppage time, four minutes left, and we were keeping the ball in the corner easily. We were playing it round Ajax, keeping the ball making sure they weren't getting opportunities. It was just nice. Like We were playing good football. It was really nice to watch. And I couldn't complain about it at all. Now, the only negative I have is something I've obviously already talked about in the team sheets is the starting eleven. I just don't see how, when you look at the players available, you pick Willian in a starting eleven at Chelsea anymore. He's simply not good enough. He's not. In my opinion, he's not. I, I can't justify in any way Willian being in that team over Christian Pulisic I can't I just can't do it it's not right it shouldn't happen it's wrong um, Pulisic definitely justice for Pulisic needs more game time man the, the guy came on and won us the game pretty much I know he didn't score but he got the assist and he changed the game he won the game for Chelsea there he needs to start at the weekend at least um, and he's more chances man because he's got a lot of stick and he's been slated a hell of a lot but whenever he comes on he changes the game he gets assists he needs that first goal to boost his confidence. But the guy's he's doing a madness when he comes on. He needs more game time. So there we have a 1-0 away win to Ajax in the Champions League. Fantastic result. Puts us on six points now in the group, the same as Ajax. So absolutely brilliant. I think we're joint top with them. Oh, they're probably ahead of us on goal difference or something. Um, but it's brilliant. I can't complain about that. Obviously, the batsmen coming to the rescue with the late goal there. And obviously, Captain America with a fantastic assist. Can't complain, really enjoyed watching the game. If you're a Chelsea fan, let me know your thoughts on the game. Uh, and even if you're not, if you just watch the game, let me know what you thought of it and what you thought of Chelsea's performance. Also, what I could like, would quite like to see is who you think should be playing. Is it Willian or should it be Christian Pulisic? I need to know that because for me, it's Pulisic all day, but you may think differently and I'd be quite interested to see if you do. So if you do, or even if you don't, Leave a comment, let me know. Make sure you drop a like on this video, show some support for Lampard's Lounge. Uh, There's a really fun series I'm doing this year and I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully um, you guys are enjoying it too and you want to see more. Obviously, it keep continuing throughout the seasons. If you do, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you are new around here. And if you haven't already, click that notification bell next to the subscription button. It's a little bell, just click it. and It tells you you get a notification straight to your phone, computer, whatever you are watching videos on as soon as I upload a video and we upload every single day at 6pm so you'll never miss out on a daily upload you wouldn't want to you simply wouldn't so thank you very much for watching